Hi and welcome to this virtual manufacturing services video tutorial in the programmer series on thread milling. So first thing we need to do is create a full profile thread mill. So we fill in a diameter, we have the shank diameter, the number of threads per inch TPI. Don't worry about the pitch in millimeter, it's just giving you the equivalent. But a lot of guys get a little bit confused on the number of teeth. It's not the number of flutes, it's the number of teeth on the solid carbide thread mill or carbide insert thread mill, either one. Uh, the number of flutes would be here, okay? So it's important to have the correct number of teeth that are on your thread mill because Gibbs, that's, that's how Gibbs is going to calculate everything. So once we have a tool created, very simply, we're going to create thread, grab that tool, we're going to go on ID, fill in RPMs, top down, in this case, right hand thread, the finished cut diameter, we're doing a 7 8 14 thread, the material diameter is the size of the uh, the bore that we're going to thread mill, so a uh, minor diameter, if you will. The clearance diameter is one that confuses people. It's the difference between the material diameter, which is A125, and the thread mill, which is 0.625, and I usually divide that by 2, add it back to the 5 eighths, and puts it right in the middle here. So that's the clearance diameter. We're going to overlap at 30 thou, plunge at the center. You can control your entry exit arcs um, as well or you, you could manually put in like a radius at the end. We're going to go 1.1 deep. Depth of cut on the first one is 20 thou. One finish pass is self-explanatory but we're going to go constant cut which is going to attempt to do uh, each cut at 20 thousandths and then a last cut at 3. If we go constant load it's going to reduce the depth of cut as it gets deeper into it. Uh, full retract is fine. Uh, we're going to do one spring pass, cut a radius comp on, and I just gave it a little 10 thou CRC line. That means we can comp up to 10 thousandths. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these two points and click do it. Okay, and we'll simulate. And it takes all the worry about overlapping the threads because Gibbs handles that. So it does the right a number of overlaps to get the job done. Now if I wanted to start from bottom up, it's simply nothing more than going in here and select bottom up, hit redo, done deal. Very quick. Let's go back into OpSim, play it again. There we're starting at the bottom up. I'll slow it down a little bit. So there we have it. So that's thread milling and Gibbs cam. Thanks for watching.